Welcome to the overview process on how to complete an Etude en France candidacy application for the first year of higher education in France with Campus France USA. Congratulations, you have created an account on Etude en France and you are now ready to fill out an admission application in order to apply to higher education programs in France. As a DAP candidate, you will be able, with our Etude en France common application, to apply for up to three programs in France as a first-year undergrad student known as Licence 1. The DAP application is also open for students applying to medical and architecture programs. The online admission application typically opens in early November for the following university cycle and the submission deadline is in the month of January. It is important that you ensure that your application is complete and submitted by the specific deadline indicated in our user guide and website. Otherwise, incomplete applications will not be able to be submitted to universities for review. There are two major steps in submitting your admission application to Campus France USA. The first one is the completion and submission of your Etude en France application, and the second one is the payment and submission on Docbox. Before starting your application, make sure you are using Firefox. Your unique ID number needed for your visa appointment can be found here on the upper right side below your name. Then click on the tab Students Not Yet Accepted under the Etude en France sign to open your admission application. Make sure that you have gathered all the required documents for your application and they are correctly sized for uploading. As a reminder, your headshot needs to be under 50 kilobytes and all other documents need to be under 300 kilobytes each. Also, all documents should be in the JPEG format. Now that all your documents are ready, it's time to get started. You will need to complete these three sections in order to fill out your admission application. Your personal information, your program card where you can add up to three programs, and finally, the submission of your file to Campus France USA, which must be done before submitting your payment on Docbox. The first section, personal information, will ask about your identity, your educational background and professional experience, and also your level of French proficiency. In Logins and Photograph, you will only have to upload your headshot. Click on Modify my photograph, select a good photo portrait of yourself, and click on Choose. You may have to refresh any page after uploading any documents you are not able to see right away. Note the indication complete in the left corner. The identity section includes the personal information you provided when you created an account. After you checked that all the information is correct, you may attach a copy of your passport by clicking on supportive document. Please ensure that you include dates in the correct format in your Etude en France account. As a reminder, in French, the date is written as day, month, year, instead of month, day, year, as written in the United States. If you are an international student residing in the United States, please make sure to add a copy of your document attesting to your legal status in the U.S. Contact information only requires your address and, more importantly, a valid telephone number so that Campus Friends can reach you during the entire process. Click on Modify, provide the information, and click on Register. Finally, Special Status is a section dedicated to grant recipients or students who have obtained a French high school diploma called Baccalauréat from a French international school. Unless you have received a grant, scholarship, or a baccalaureate, select My Situation does not apply to any of the above and click on Register. Now the Personal Information section has been completed, you should be able to see a green Complete tag added to this section. We may now move on to the next step, Education and Professional Experience. This is where you will give us more detail about your education background and professional experience. Don't be shy, this section is all about you. 
let the admission committees know about your personal accomplishments, skills, and relevant credentials. Maybe you're part of a writing club at your high school or have participated in a science competition or perhaps volunteered at a local community center. Any research you conducted or project would be included in this section. Again, this section is all about showing who you are and what you have been studying, working, or researching on. On a side note, be mindful about what you add to your application as all French institutions will be able to review all the same documentation that is on file. You also need to pay attention to the number of documents you upload. You don't want your admission application to have dozens of pages either. Choose pertinent information in relation to the programs you wish to attend. Upload here a copy of your résumé, written in French, in English, or both, depending on the language of instruction of the program. There is no specific format, but it should include information about your academic and professional background, volunteer experience, or any specific coursework or project-based work that may be relevant. It is under Cursus that you will be able to upload any relevant information regarding your educational background and your professional experience by creating as many activity entries as necessary. This step is very important as it provides the prospective institutions clear information about your level of studies and your professional experience. Please select the information that applies to you by clicking Add and enter your education information. As a reminder, required supportive documents include a copy of the most recent diploma or degree you obtain and its official French translations, along with your official transcripts which must be signed or stamped and their official French translations. No translations need to be notarized. However, they must be completed by a certified translator. A list of professionals can be found through the American Translators Association. You will find a link to their website on our Etudes France application guide under Document Tips of the DAP Candidate section. If you have not received your diploma yet from your current school, please provide all the information related to the program, including a conferral letter confirming a future graduation date along with your most recent official transcript and their official French translations. In addition to your education, you can add any relevant professional and extracurricular experiences as stated earlier. Don't hesitate to add recommendation letters you may want to share with the prospective institutions. However, note that if you upload letters of recommendation here, these letters will be available to every program to which you are applying. So we suggest that letters of recommendation be general and not program specific. Once the education and professional experience section has been completed, please note the tag complete. Now, let's move on to the last step of the personal information, language skills. This step is related to your French language proficiency. This is where you add your results of your official French language test by selecting in the drop-down menu the test that you have taken and by adding its results. If you have not taken a French test or have not received your official results yet, make sure to add the registration form for the test here in Level of French and complete the section. Here again, note the complete tag added to the language skills section, but also to the personal information section of your application. You can now proceed to the next step of your admission application, selecting the programs you want to apply to. You can review roles for the constitution of the program card here, for instance, how many programs you can add to your card. For the first year of undergrad studies, including medical studies, candidates can select up to three programs compared to architecture candidates who can only select two programs. And you can also hover over any question mark icons for additional information. Click on the blue button Add a program in order to browse in our online catalogs. You can search by keywords selecting the name of a program or institution by selecting the level and field of studies. We can select the first option as an example 
or you can also search programs by locations if you are not quite sure where to start. Here you can review the map of France and its overseas departments and regions. Let's zoom in in the region of Bretagne. You may not know which institutions are in this region, but you really want to study in the northwestern parts of France. So let's select Bretagne and click search. Just like for the documents you upload, you may need to refresh the page if you are unable to review programs. Let's select first year of undergrad studies in the field of administration in the region of Bretagne, licence in law and economics in administration, and let's choose the first city. You can click on the link in order to review more information about the program. Here you can read more about the prerequisites, the level of French proficiency required, the teaching language, or the contact information of the program director or the school, whether a program is connected to the Etude en France application or not. When a program is not connected, your admission application is sent by mail instead of electronically through the platform Etudes en France, which may take a bit longer for the committees to review your dossier and for you to receive a response from these institutions regarding your admission or deny of admission. With programs connected to the platform Etudes en France, you are able to track responses and messages from institutions directly on the platform. Now, let's select another region, still in the same field of studies, for the same type of diploma, and let's pick the first one. Similar information about the program, which is connected to the application, but also part of the label Bienvenue en France, Welcome to France. The label Bienvenue en France was created to allow institutions to highlight their ability to accommodate new international students. More information about the label can be found on our user guide and website. Let's take an example in the field of medicine. We can start our research with the keyword medicine and see what programs are available at the moment. Let's choose Licence in Human and Social Science in Sanitary. From these two programs found, we can see that one has been closed by the institution. If you believe that a program is still available and up on an institution's website, but closed on Etudes en France, we invite you to directly contact the institution itself in order to inquire about eligibility regarding this specific program. It happens sometimes where programs are open on universities' sites but closed on Etudes en France or the other way around. It means that institutions may not have updated the Etudes en France platform or their websites yet. Hence the importance of contacting them to ensure the program is still open. You can only select up to three programs and for architecture studies only two, so you wouldn't want to select a program that unfortunately is closed now. The second program is connected to Etudes en France and part of the Bienvenue en France label. Now, let's select overseas territories. In Licence, in Arts, in Applied Foreign Languages, for example. And in this specific case, the program is not connected to Etudes en France, which once again means that your admission file will be sent to the selected university by mail. Let's add it to the cart and review the three programs we have selected. Here is an overview of our program cart. We can see our three programs, one of which that is not connected. You can click on the Browse button to review the information about the program one more time. We can also see that our program cart is incomplete because it is currently missing statements of motivations for each program selected. To add your statement of motivation, click on Write Application Essays, select a program, and complete this section. You may proceed with the same procedure for all of the other programs. The essay should be 1500 characters max and written in French or in English depending on the language of instruction of the program. It should reflect your interest in and motivations to attend the program. This is a chance to explain why you would be a strong candidate and why the program aligns with your academic and professional goals. 
Once you believe you're all set with the selection of your programs, you may go back to the previous page. Note the tag Complete next to Fill out the program card, letting you know this section is finalized. If ready to submit, click on Submit the file to Campus Friends USA. Make sure all sections are complete, although it will appear in orange with a tag incomplete if it is not, and it will also prevent you from submitting your application. But once everything is complete with the green tags, click on I hereby certify that the above statements are true, and click on Submit the file to Campus Friends USA. Don't forget that this is only the first step and that you still need to go on to DocBox in order to pay and submit your admission application. We hope this is helpful.